even when you're evil, you're still too good. You had a good run, Brucey. Flying around Gotham, punching bad guys, cleaning up the streets, causing long-term mental and emotional damage to everyone you knew. It's our turn now. After all we've been through. Oh. Bet you didn't think it'd be me at the end, huh, Bats? Are we done with your bad stand-up routine? Almost. But you always gotta end on your best joke. As I tear your mind apart, <laughs> Gotham will watch. I will cut that mask from your face, and the whole world will see the fear in your eyes. Then they too will understand. There is no savior. No more hope. No more Batman. Maybe it's already happened. Look at me! I'm amazing! And this body! I can't believe how strong it is! Astrology. Such brutality. Is anybody really surprised that Suicide Squad ended up being a massive failure for Rocksteady and Warner Bros. all together? When we already saw the painting on the wall when they came out with that God awful gameplay, a looter shooter for a single player franchise that are known for making one of the best Batman games and pretty much any of the best games ever made in history. The people who paved the way for superhero games, uh, Rocksteady, has been nothing but reduced to a bunch of activists who have no damn idea on how to even make a video game playable. And instead of getting people to actually beta test the game, they make you the beta tester. And that just don't work like that. If you don't know who I am, my name is King QNM. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I cover gaming news and I think I'm going to start covering uh, movies and other types of entertainment. Just, you know, just to make sure people are aware of what's going on. But it just... Going back to Suicide Squad is, is, is funny because, you know, every day we fight this never-ending battle on, oh, these woke, these anti-woke people, they have no damn idea what they're talking about. They're just spouting nonsense and propaganda, and they're just a bunch of Nazis, they're, they're, they're just bigots who don't want to see anybody representing in their video games, and then you get this big gang come out and they want to sit here and say shit like oh well they're just trying to oppress the minority of people yet they want to say that the game is not catered towards uh just straight men uh but quickly you realize that these people these people don't matter okay these people don't even know what the hell they're talking about there is no minority of nothing these people don't even exist Okay, trans people don't exist. Uh, women are the minority. And that's just the way it is. But, uh... It's just... Baffling to me how... People really thought that this game was gonna be... Like some big hit just because it's just rock steady in aim. Most people came just sorely because of the story. And that was mainly Arkham fans. And Arkham fans checked out. When they saw that Batman got killed on a park bench. That's when I checked out. But I still went through the story. And I covered some of that story. In one of my other videos. Which I'm going to put down here in a, in a video. I'm going to put it in a related video section. If you want to check that out. But uh, it seems like Batman actually won in the end. And uh, I say that because I'm not even that upset anymore. That he died on a park bench. Because that paved the way for us to really open our eyes and see what's going on in the gaming industry. And Rocksteady's paying for it. $200 million 
loss and profits thanks to Suicide Squad to the Justice League. I'm going to look into this article from that part page. And a new rumor claims that Ron and Bros Discovery is having internal discussions about shutting down Rock City under the developer's Sweet Baby Inc. You don't know who Sweet Baby Inc. are. They're just a consultancy firm who are just activists who have no damn idea of what's going on uh, in video games. They don't even know what the fuck a video game is. They're just in here to ruin men's entertainment and uh, the uh, chase clout. And these people need to go. They don't mention that. When you know they cover about the the game and why it failed, but it's because of them mainly. Uh, Sweet Baby Inc. influenced Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League game instantly, became a financial failure, and forced the company to take a two hundred million dollar impairment charge on the game. So this game lost two hundred million dollars. Right, Rooney. <laughs> I've never seen you laugh before. I don't think I like it. Cut it out! You give me the creeps! You little fool. That's just, that's crazy. And these people really think, and the, the funny part is, is that this is supposed to be a single player franchise. This is supposed to be a single player game, yet they have it set up like a live service. And I notice a lot of the games are trying to make this live service aspect, but people don't have time to play live service games all the time. No one wants to sit here and play a game and rank up all day. That's not how the, the single player games is the most dominant game on earth. Uh, majority of your games need to be single player. No one, no one's playing uh, multiplayer games like that, especially not nowadays since everything is live service. Starting with studios, the $400 million plus year over year decline during Q1 was primarily due to the very tough comp we faced in games against the success of Hogwarts Legacy last year in the first quarter in conjunction with the disappointing Suicide Squad release this past quarter, which we impaired leading to a $200 million impact to EBITDA during the first quarter. So, that just, oof. 400 million plus over year, year, year. Look at that shit, man. Look at this shit. These comments reflect the game's poor player base and it's seen via Steam DP charts. According to the data, the game had peak concurrent players of 13,459 when it first launched at the beginning of February. However, players quickly abandoned the game with the most recent 24-hour peak, only hitting 286 players. Sales estimate for the game on Steam range between 120,600 and 259,600. And there goes the Steam shirts right there, and it looks abysmal. That is just, that is just disgusting, dude. That, that's, that's bad. That's real bad. Now a new rumor for YouTuber Vera Dark declares one of Russ is internally talking about closing Rocksteady or helving their 250 uh, employees after Suicide Squad killed the Justice League's bomb. Uh, Dark continued, I have heavily co covered one of Russ games and Suicide Squad killed the Justice League since release because of what it represented for one of Russ games and the beloved franchise. When it was greenlit, we were seeing a giant scramble for studios to create live service games and this one release too late plus the content did not resonate with the players. And she's completely right. You do not make a live service game, especially with a studio that has no type of experience whatsoever on making live service games or multiplayer games in that fact. And then you make a live service game with no different types of content in it and you you're stuck killing these same bosses killing these same enemy types and you're supposed to make this a uh, off-brand looter shooter or fucking fortnite and you think that you think people are gonna tune into this just because it looks like fortnite or something that's not how reality works uh people are not gonna tune into your game because it's live service and because of your name. People don't care about your name being DC. 
People don't care about your name being rock steady. When people see something they're interested in, they're going to buy it. And when they see something that looks lame, they're going to avoid it. And they should have knew everything. They should. They, there's no excuse not to know. They deserve to fail. Now, I don't think rock steady is going to go under. I think they're going to have a little bit of time to back it up before, you know, uh, they do shut down. They may, you know, get rid of some employees, you know. But we already know that they're not going to be able to back it up because it's not the same people working at Rock City anymore. Those people left. The co-founders left. We have new activists in Rock City now. And uh, consultants are taking over. Uh, they're not even actually consultants. They're actually hired working there. Uh, they're trying to infiltrate the entire gaming industry. And Rock Steady is going to be a beacon. A beacon of, 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 of hope for all of us, actually, because... It's going to show just how bad it is to have these consultants working on your game. It may have been more games like you may have got a game like Saints Row Volition got shut down or maybe another studio. I forgot the studio name, but it may be Forspoken. It got shut down. You may get something like Marvel Spider-Man 2 or God of War Ragnarok where it's completely downgraded, you know, a little bit or something like that. And people rather play the, the first game. But... Rasty was so high up and it declined so fast and so hard people are not going to be able to deny what we're what we're the, the truth that we're speaking over here uh, I'm going to show some of this stuff that they have on here on that part place and I may continue showing some more of that article but basically you saw that these people have taken a massive hit and they took of a massive hit because they decided that they were going to fill their game with woke propaganda. And they were going to send their shit in here and think people was going to just eat it up. They thought people was just going to eat it up. Especially Arkham fans. And I said this before. Arkham fans, they're not going to just accept anything. They're going to they're gonna expect it to be 95% close to what the original was. And there was nothing in this game that reminded you of the Arkham series. In fact, we don't even consider it canon. Maybe this will wake people up, you know. Maybe this will wake people up. It, it woke me up. This is when I first woke up. This is when I realized that all this shit was going on. So maybe this will wake some more people up when they, they see Rock Steady go under. But uh, I wouldn't be surprised if you didn't. Especially with all these shields out here. But you never know. You never know. Uh, let this be a lesson to, uh, to everyone. That, uh. That's going into game development or, you know, or is in game development. Any studio out there. These people, these people don't care about making video games. These people care about spreading ideology. Uh, spreading ideology is uh, woke. And wokeness equals broke. So, you either be broke or you could be profitable. Rock Steady is a great reminder on what happens when you go woke. I think they're going to probably shut down the server maybe a year or two from now. There's no way they're going to be able to keep that shit up. They already started backtracking on, uh, on releasing content for the game. I think they're going to continue on the season 4, they said, and bring Batman back. Especially with that new Batman VR game coming out. Batman Arkham Shadows. Which no one wants and no one's going to play. It's going to fail too. It's going to flop. Because no one trusts this new studio. Uh, this ain't the same studio. So people are not going to tune in to that anyway. They just want to use Batman for clout. Uh, they just want to use Batman to nostalgia bait you and bring you in. But it's not going to work. People don't trust you no more. Uh, but hey. To all the Suicide Squad fans and and and, and to Warner, Warner Bros. and Ross Daddy. At least you was able to get through with your, your trans Mr. Freeze. Yeah, that's what everybody wanted. A trans Mr. Freeze. Yeah. Instead of giving us the original Mr. Freeze, maybe the Arkhamverse Mr. Freeze. You decided to give us Cream Freeze. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is what everybody wanted. This is this is just clap, clap for Rock City. 
clap for LGBTQ, clap for representation, because this is this is strong. They the the they are so brave to lose profits and lose everything just to pander to maybe even two percent of the population. <laughs> The air on Olympus affects your thinking. Of degenerates. <laughs> uh, good job, Rusty. You did a shitty job.